Hi guys, um, in this video it's a bit of a follow on into our, from our last lesson um, which was about how to create a Google Mail account, why to create a Google Mail account um, and it led to talking about the Android market um, and Google Play um, basically what the Android market is, it's a, a, a section on your on your phone where you'll be able to download apps, games, movies um, that kind of thing. Um, it's currently is called the Android Market, but they are rebranding it and pushing it towards changing to Google Play. Um, so your device may say Android Market or it may say Google Play. Um, you will find it either on the front screen of the device um, or you will find it in your main menu. Um, so it'll just be worth going through the phone. Um, it will either be a shopping bag. Um, I don't know how clearly you can see this, I'll come in quite close. It'll either be a shopping bag um, like that with an Android man on it, or a shopping bag um, like that with a little um, sort of triangular um, logo on there. Um, so that's the, that's the icon that you're looking for. Um, I'm going to come in a little bit close for this one just so you guys can see this a little bit easier. Um, so to start off, tap on the, the market or the Google Play, whichever one your, your one actually comes up with. My battery's on a little bit low. Okay, and I don't believe it. I think it's asking me to do update the phone. Let's just see what it does. Okay, right, so that's now almost updated. Always the way. Okay, so once you've tapped on the Android market or the Google Play icon, this is how it loads. Um, so this is what Google Play um, looks like. Um, so it always loads up with the featured sort of section of, of the of, on on here. Um, this has basically a rundown of all the things that are popular. Um, so for example, um, you've got Google Currents, which is a new sort of um, magazine app that's just come out. They're putting a lot of pr um, a lot of focus on that at the moment. Um, as you go down the list, it's got a few movies and bits and pieces that you can um, that you can rent. Um, and so on. Um, the main section that you're going to want to focus on is this section here, um, which basically says apps, books, and movies. Okay, um, so quite self explanatory. Um, if you're looking to download an application, you can tap on your on your apps there and it will load up um, again. It's going to take a little bit of a while, unfortunately, because it's um, just updated itself. Um, again, you come to a featured page. So this is all the featured apps that they've currently, they're, they're, they're Google are currently putting focus on at the moment. Um, so you've got a, um, a few up here, and as you go down, again, even more um, major sort of focuses um, of the bigger apps that are getting a lot of a lot of hits and a lot of downloads at the moment. Um, so this is your featured section so you can always find some pretty good stuff in here so it is worth having a look through them um, if you do want to have a look at something say for example um, the Google Earth app um, just tap on it once um, and it will load up um, a little bit of information about it so all you need to do is um, basically you can read through the description here um, if you want to get a bit more I don't know if you can see that it kind of um, separates it into bite size um, sections um, so if you want to read more of the description just tap it once and it will load up that extra information for you um, as you go down it also tells you the recent updates that it's had and the reviews for it so you can see this one's got an average review of 4.4 uh, which is pretty good um, and it's got quite a lot of um, people rating it, rating it as 5 stars um, again Below that, you will have some reviews from actual users, so you'll be able to actually read what people are saying about this particular app. Obviously, it's Google Earth. A lot of people know about this one, so it's always going to get good good ratings. Um, as you go even further down um, the, the sort of app information page, um, you've got more um, basically more apps from the, that particular developer. This one again is Google, so it's going to have a lot of Google-based apps, and then also apps that users um, that have downloaded this one have also viewed. Um, so it basically is trying to find you apps that you may you may well be interested in. Um, so after you've gone through a look at that, it's also got some um, screenshots that, that load up at the top. If you tap one of them, um, you can then go through the um, basically these are screenshots of what the of what the app looks like. Um, so um, you can just slide your finger across the screen and go through the various screenshots for that for that particular application. Um, if you decide, yep, I want to download that one. Um, as you can see at the top, you've got download. 
Um, so all you'd literally do is tap on the download button and accept and download and then that will download a, the, the application for you. Um, I'm not going to do it because I already have that. So um, so back to the featured players, like I said, if you want to basically look at a particular app, you just tap it once and it will load up that particular information. Now what else you can do on here is you can you can basically look through as, as categories. So for example, if you swipe your finger from left to right, it will bring up the categories for the app section. So you can see it's got everything on there from games right down to the bottom to widgets, weather, travel and local. Um, so there's quite a few categories on there. Um, going back to the featured, if you swipe the other way, so from right to left, it will then display the top paid applications from the Android market. So these are the ones that most people are paying to download at the moment. In all honesty, I, I don't. I very rarely pay for apps. Most of them, ones that you do find that are chargeable, you can normally pick up for free else, um, elsewhere just by searching around a little bit more. Um, so again, swiping from the right to the left, um, it then comes up with the top three apps. Um, so you can see there's quite a few popular ones on there. You've got your Gmail, Facebook for Android, YouTube, Angry Birds, which is you, you've probably heard of before as well. Um, and so on. Um, so again, this this is generally the the, the 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 section that I go to first. It's the free app section. And then, or if you wanna if you wanna have a look at more information about a particular app, you just literally tap it once, and it will load up that page for you as well. Um, going back to the main page, you've also got a books and a movie section on there now as well. And um, these essentially are again the same thing. You can download books onto your onto your device. Um, you've got um, free ones. You've got um, and other ones that are, are that you would have to pay for. Anything you do pay for on your um, on on your phone um, will always sync with your Google Mail account. So in the previous lesson, I was I was telling you all about how the Gmail syncs all your, what you've purchased for in the Android market to your Google Mail account. So if you did lose your phone, it will just be on there again. So you can just literally download it. You don't need to pay for it again. It's pretty safe to use credit card and and other details on 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 here as well. Um, obviously, just watch out who's over over looking over your shoulder and stuff like that. Um, and it's exactly the same for movies. You can now rent and buy movies um, through Google. Play uh, exactly the same scenario. Um, it'll have a featured section of the the best um, best ones that they've got on at the, at the moment. They're their sort of hot picks, um, and then you've also got staff choices, editor choices, and bits and pieces like that. Um, and again, it's all just a matter of touching them, and um, it will it will load up that particular information for them. Now, if you've been told about a particular app and you think, oh, that looks pretty good, um, I want to download it. Um, as you can see on the on the top of the page here, you've got a, a little magnifying glass. Tap on that one, and you can actually search for various um, different different things on there. Um, so just a case of you know typing in um, Facebook, for example. Hit search, and then it will find all the. I'm actually in the movie section, so that wasn't probably wise. But um, if I was in the app section, it would find all the um, all the the apps relating to Facebook for you. So you just literally again tap them, download, and um, and that's it. And what I'm going to do on my next video is I'm actually going to do like a rundown of sort of the top ten apps um, and how to use them. Um, I might break it into two videos just to make it a little bit shorter um, and a little bit easier to to understand. So um, that will be what I'll be doing in my next lesson. Um, so so I'll see you then. Thanks.